Hey YouTube, it's Manny. So I'm gonna be putting together my very first custom mechanical keyboard. So I had to pick up some switches. So what I went with was, I went with a glorious Gatron uh, red switches. So what I'm gonna do in this video is we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to take it apart. I'm gonna show you how to lube it and put it back together, all right? I'll also put a link to the description below of all the tools and things that I'm, I'm using for this to just make it easier for yourselves, all right? All right, now onto the video. All right, so here's everything we're gonna need. Uh, let's first go over uh, the lube. So this is, uh, I got this from Kibo Store. I got this from Kibo Store. I'll put this uh, link in the description below. This is uh, Crytox lube, it's GPL 205G0. So that's what we're gonna be using to lube the switches with. Obviously we have the switch. Uh, I got these from uh, Glorious. Uh, I bought a kit from Amazon. This is the whole kit. I'll put a link in the description below. It comes with a, uh, a switch opener, which actually works with the um, Gatrons. It comes with a four prong tool. Uh, this is very handy. I use it for a couple different things. A lube brush. And then it comes with a lube station, which you can get it or not get it. I, I found it useful to actually uh, keep things in order um, while you're lubing. All right, so first things first, we got to open um, the actual switch itself. So if you look at the switch, you gotta make sure you, you can see there's four prongs right here. I'm gonna use a little brush. So there's, there's two prongs on each side. There's, there's, a, there's a prong here, a prong here, and then you can see two more prongs over here, right? What you wanna do is take this switch opener and you wanna make sure the prongs, it lines up with the two pr the, the prongs on each side. So two on each side, just like that, right? Basically you just push it and it kind of pops like that. That's it, It's real simple. I'd recommend getting this. You can actually use like a little screwdriver and pop these, but I think this is much easier. I basically take this and I drop it in here. I just use my finger. At this point, I just use my fingernail to kind of just pop these guys out. And now you separated it. Now I did find that you could pop one side out and it kind of got stuck in here. What I would do is I take my four prong tool and all you got to do is, is there's a little, there's a little uh, right in here. There's a little groove like here. And if you just put it in there, just a little pressure, it just pops right out and no, no fuss, no muss. I had, I had a little trouble at that trying to figure that out at first. Now we got it separated into our four different locations, uh, four different pieces. This is the bottom housing, right? They actually fit nicely in here. Um, then we have the actual um, switch part here. And then you have the spring, well, the spring fits in here. Now be honest, this is the top housing. I don't know, there's no place for it. I would just put them on the side when I was doing it. So it would be nice that there was another spot for that. I, mean, I guess you could put them in here, but I don't know. All right, so we're done with that. We're done with the puller. Now it's time to actually lube, so we're going to open up our lube. Um, we're going to start with the bottom. I always do the bottom first. So what I do is I take a little bit out. If you take too much lube out, say you put too much on your brush, you don't want like a whole bunch on your brush. I can't see, I can't focus. All right, you can always, I know it's hard to focus with the camera. You always just use the top of your lid to kind of get some of that lube off. Now, what we're going to lube and I, I was experimenting a lot with this. Everyone's saying, oh, uh, show, I was watching lots of videos on what to lube and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lube the spring. I'm gonna explain why I'm not gonna lube the spring. So what I'm gonna do is any place, and I took the switch and I, with the spring in it. So one of the things you could do is take, put your spring back in, take the little plunger, make sure it's in the right way, and just look at what things touch, right? Because that's what you wanna lube, anything that gets touched, right? So. You can go online, follow all kinds of directions, but you just take this and see what is it touching, right? I'm not gonna lube the metal parts. I guess you could, but I'm not going to. So you can see everything it's touching. So that's what we're gonna lube. And this is basically how I did it. So all switches can be a little different. All the Gatrons are gonna be like this, but other ones will be different. So I'm basically gonna lube all the inside parts here. So you can see right, right in here, lube right in here. And they say not to put too much lube on, but, and they say, oh, make sure you do full strokes. In all honesty, this is a brush. So if you put a little too much on one spot, just brush it out. It's, it's all it takes. You just gotta brush it out, right? A little more lube, whatever's on the lid. And then put more on this side. So I'm basically doing these edges, right? Now, the reason I say I'm not doing, I'm not gonna lube the spring is I'm gonna take a little more lube, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it inside where the spring goes around right like this and i'm just going to wrap around here so when the spring goes on there and the spring gets depressed the spring is going to get lubed 
um, pretty well with it. And yeah, I'm not going to spend time trying to lube a spring, which is going to take forever, right? All right, so that's about all I'm doing for the bottom housing. Uh, the other thing I do is if you have a full row of these and they're all, I always have the, um, the brass, the, the copper piece up high. As soon as I lube it, I turn it around so the, the copper piece is down low, just so I know which one I did. So if I stop and come back, I know where to start and where to stop again, all right? That's done. So what I'm going to do is now take the spring and put it back in the housing, in the bottom piece. Now we're going to work on this. Now we want to now we want to work and we want to actually loop every piece of this outside because it all it all touches things, right? However, I find my fingers are I got big fingers and they get in the way. I actually found this four prong thing to be very useful. I would just kind of clamp it in here like this, one prong on each piece. You can see how it like clamped like that. I found this very easy to now to loop. So now I just take a little bit of lube, and even if you get a little too much, you just I would just dab a little here. Dab a little here, dab a little here, dab a little here, and then just start spreading it out, right? Whole idea, I mean, it's a brush. So if you put a little too much on one spot, you can brush it out. It's not a big deal, right? People are gonna tell you, only put a little bit on. Don't, you don't wanna overload the switch, but you can always brush it off if you get a little too much on. Don't worry about it, as long as you don't. The big thing is you don't wanna have big clumps of lube in there, right? All right, and then we're gonna do the, once again, a little lube on there and we're going to get in into this middle middle housing this is where the spring is going to go around so once again i'm sure we don't want too much on there we want to lube up this piece pretty well and then get the brush get i'm sorry to get the brush in here get the brush in there and just go around there pretty well right and just make sure you have this all lubed well because that's where the spring is going to go on the spring is going to get lubed just from all that right and we just go around and that's it all right, so then I just take this, and you got to make sure you put everything in the right direction. So let me pick this up and show you. So if you look, if you look at this thing, you can see it's got, I wish it would focus. There we go. So you can see it's got these two little things in the front, these two little prongs in the front right here. That's going to go towards the copper. So that's going to face towards the copper when you put this down. So just drop it in there. Drop it on there. So you can see how it's facing the copper, just like that. Because those two prongs push the copper pieces out, so they have to be on like that. All right? Let me put this back over here. And now we're going to um, lube, lube the top housing, all right? Now, there's actually not a lot on here that gets touched. So you want to lube in this, this, this front panel right here, and this one little be back piece. And I kind of throw a little lube on the back sides here a little bit. But you don't have to lube these side pieces because the actual white the, the bottom piece is going to be right in here, so you don't need to lube that at all. So just lube in here. I'll get a better camera at some point, boys. You guys keep subbing to me. We will get a better camera. Lube this top piece. This is my cell phone, so. So I'm just lubing this piece, and I'll like throw a little right there, a little right there. It's not a lot. And then just right here in here, right? All right. Now, that's it. We got every, all, the, all the sections lubed, right? Now, once again, we got to make sure we put this together, right? Because I, I messed up a few times. I took it apart. I wasn't paying attention. And I didn't know how to put it back together. So like I said, you want to turn like this. Now, the top housing has, you can see, like, part the back side has, there's, there's a side with nothing. There's a side with a big lump. The lumpy side goes over the copper piece, right? You see how it kind of has lumpy piece on the front? And it just goes in here. And you'll know if you put it together wrong because the switch won't go up and down, right? And you just click it, clicks back together. And then, all right, let me go grab an uh, unloop switch and you'll see, um, see the difference. Here is an unloop switch. And here is a loop switch. Unlooped. Lubed. That's much better. Like I said, I didn't lube the, um, I did not lube the springs. I didn't lube the springs because if you look inside, it's hard to see, but you can see where it's completely, if you, if you get your switches, you'll see where, where I, where I lubed on the switch itself in the bottom housing actually got it all over the spring. So I don't see any need to do the spring. That's just me. Um, people complain about ping, spring ping or whatever, or ping noise. I don't hear any at all. So that's it. All right, YouTube, that's it, guys. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. You can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any additional questions you guys may have. All right, guys. Take it easy. Peace.